In this video, we're going to set up a repository in which we'll save our model data. Our concrete repository is going to be a room database, and we're going to use live data from the Android Architecture Components Library to retrieve data from the database. So first we need to set up our dependency on the live data library. To add the dependency, first open the project level build.gradle file and add the version of the Architecture Components Library that we'll use, 2.0.0. Next, open the app module build.gradle file and add the live data dependency. In the model package, open up the file Creature Repository, which is currently an empty interface. We use an interface for the repository in part because it would simplify switching to a different concrete repository other than Room if we needed to for some reason later in our project lifecycle. We need the ability to save a creature to the repository, get all creatures from the repository, and clear all creatures in the repository, so we add those methods to the interface. The return value from the method to get all creatures is a live data list of creatures. In order to store our creatures in room, we'll make them a room entity using the creature table table. We could have made a separate class for the room entity and then provided mapping functions to convert between creatures and creature entities. But for this simple app, we'll just make creature and entity directly. In a production app, you would likely want to create such a mapping layer between the model class and the repository. We also set the name property as the non-null primary key for a creature. Since we're using Room, we need to use a creature DAO or data access object to access our creatures. There's an empty DAO in the model Room package. We now add insert, clear, and get all creatures methods to the DAO. We use a conflict strategy of replace on the insert method, and we've written the SQL query for getting all creatures from the database. One nice feature of Room is that it validates your SQL code at compile time. Next, we need to open up Creature Database and tell the database about our new creature entity. We've also added a type converter for storing creature attributes in the database. 
The Creature Attributes Converter class was included in the starter project and just converts the creature attributes for storage in Room. Next, open up the Room Repository class, which is a concrete implementation of the Creature Repository interface. The starter code has a property for the creature DAO and some async tasks to perform the creature insert and delete in the background. First, we add an all creatures property to the repository, which will ask the DAO for all creatures in the init block. Then we add the methods from the creature repository interface using the async tasks as needed. In the insert async task, we add a line to insert the creature using the DAO. And we do similar in the delete async task for clearing creatures. As a last step for setting up the repository, we open up the application class in the app package and replace the to-do in onCreate with a line to build the room database. We build and run the app to make sure all is okay. The app starts up with no errors, so it looks like we've set up Room correctly. In a later video, we'll finish the ability to save creatures into the repository from the app user interface.